Even though voters signed off on a community oversight board in Nashville this week, one state representative is looking into ways to prevent it from going into effect. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall has the latest on this controversial issue. Days after Amendment 1 passed to establish a community oversight board, organizers are hitting the ground running. But one state lawmaker is considering blocking the board from moving forward. The journey for a community oversight board in Nashville goes back more than three decades. But after two recent deadly officer involved shootings in the community, Theda Murphy has longed for a board to hold Metro Police more accountable and transparent. The inner workings of the police department need to be looked at. On Tuesday, with the passing of Amendment 1, she saw that opportunity. That the people in the community want this that this is something that the people in the community feel needs to happen. But even after Davidson County's election commission voted to place the referendum on the midterm ballot, after the referendum passed 59 to 41 percent, pushback continues. Tennessee House Majority Leader Glenn Cassida plans to look into issues opponents of Amendment 1 have come January. In a statement, he says, the safety of our citizens is paramount, and we must ensure our counties and municipalities do not violate the state's constitutional duty to protect all Tennesseans. There's nothing to protect police officers from. They will still be getting their full due process. The board is neutral. It's completely neutral, neutral and independent. Murphy questions why a lawmaker would consider possibly overturning what the majority want. You know, it puzzles me because I, I thought that, that Republicans stood for local government and the power of local government. And after more than three decades of being silenced, the voters have spoken. In Nashville, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. Murphy says over the next two weeks, she and other organizers plan to meet with Mayor David Briley and council members to talk about the inner workings of the board.